Hey everybody. I uh, was listening to this. Uh, I like to listen to Coast to Coast AM uh, in the mornings and uh, if it's a good subject. And uh, the night before last, the show was really good. It was about a guy, it was kind of like a life's, life's, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it was about like kind of life's plan or how to, how to live your life, the guide to living life. And it was a guest on it. I can't remember his name. I'll put it in the description. But uh, if anyone wants to go to the show and check it out, I I, he had some, basically, he just outlined everything that I live by, you know, just seeing the positive in things and doing what you can to try to better your surroundings and just using common sense. But right at the end of the interview, and uh, I think it's at like, I don't know, I'll, I'll try to find it and put it up there like two minutes, two hours and 40 minutes or something, but it's like the last 15 minutes. Uh, this guy calls in and he says... Uh, he says, hey, you know, I think what you're saying is, is a great, great and all in theory, but the reality is that our world is completely screwed. He says, uh, and he just went on for like 10 minutes. He was talking about how uh, the slums were, were horrible and that we're destroying and raping the earth, cutting down forests to make drugs and, and, and this and that. I mean, he labeled just everything and humanity as a disease, but he kept saying them, them, they, humans. And when the when the guy that was the doing you know the interviewed guy um, he, he finally he says look I agree with everything you're saying I agree that the world is messed up and there's a lot of bad things going on but he says but what's your end what's your solution and there was just silence and I just laughed because that's the that's the same question I pose to so many people who present problems in society I say well what's your solution. I mean, if you're going to complain about it, don't you have an end game, right? No, we just want a bitch. But he asked the guy in the end, he said, hey, he said, he said, well, do you consider yourself part of the human race? And the guy says, well, or he says, what are you doing? You know, and he said, well, I'm, well, I just want to change people, you know, as much as possible and change people's minds. And uh, he says, but no, like, are you part of society? And the guy said, well, yes. And he says, so you're part of the problem. And he said, yes. It's like, so, you know, <laughs> you know, where do you go from there? I mean, I, I'll let you check it out yourself, but it really got me thinking that uh, about things basically that I'm already aware of, but, but just hearing it from that perspective, a guy talking for two hours about how great life is and how wonderful, and then to have a caller call in and say that. I mean, he, he named off every negative aspect of society you could imagine. And what I got from it was the guy said, Look, you see the world through negative eyes, and I see the world through positive eyes. And I could relate so much because, you know, say five, ten years ago even, you know, although I have always had a kind of a spiritual, floaty, hippie attitude about life, I'd still let shit get to me. I mean, I'd stress out about stupid things, and, and, and it builds. It builds resentment. It builds anger. And uh, the more I complained about the problems in society, the more I found myself thinking that it was a dangerous place to live. I've been stolen from and my car stolen and all the kinds of different random things happen. But that's an easy for a person to say, uh, you know, well, society's fucked up. I'm going to lock my doors and just stay inside with the shotgun, right? I don't see it that way. I see the world as a very friendly place. You know, when I go out in society, you know, people may seem like zombies. I have people say, oh, well, I go to the store and I see people and they just look like zombies or they're just, they're not paying attention. It's like, how do you know what's going on in their heads? Because I know I look like a zombie to people sometimes. I don't always look everybody in the eye. I go to the store, maybe I'm in a bad, bad place or maybe I'm just not feeling well or whatever. It's just like the guy who's hauling ass down the freeway and you're pissed at him because he's, you know, driving like an idiot. Maybe he's going to the hospital. Or the person who's driving too slow, maybe they just got in an accident. I'm just saying that there are perspectives to each situation that we don't see. We just think everything should be the way we see it. It's just tunnel vision. And uh, I feel really bad for the folks that see the world as a dangerous place. Because it's not. And I was having this discussion with my mom the other day. I was saying, you know, there's... There's, uh, I was like, it's all, it's all how you look at stuff. And she says, yeah, she's like, I don't know how people can not let things go uh, or, or not get over stuff. And I was like, or, or st to always think people are bad. And I had to bring up the point that, hey, you know, just because 
somebody may have made us feel bad at work or a car broke down or something. Those are very small problems compared to the family in another country who uh, you know, have militia stopping by and raping their kids every week. I mean, it's hard to build a positive view of society when you're constantly being wronged. But some of the most wronged people in history have ended up being some of the strongest supporters of peace because of it. Overcoming adversity brings new realizations and uh, that's why I'm fortunate for the negative things that have happened in my life, you know. I suffer from chronic pain. Uh, you know, I'm unemployed and trying to find a job right now. I think I might have just got one, but, uh, you know, my dad died when I was like 14 and, and uh, I could have let that just totally destroy me if I wanted to. You know, moved around a lot as a kid, a lot of different schools. You know, all this stupid shit that happens to people. But to me, it's nothing. It's It's nothing. It's just... It's such a small part of my life. It's just another phase, you know, but some people can't let go of things that happen, you know. I mean, some people lose their father and it destroys them for the rest of their life. Or uh, some people get in an accident in a car and they never drive a car again. It's just like, yeah, you just got to get up and get back on the horse and uh, try again, try, try again. But in the end, how you view the world is going to depend as much on your situation that you've been in as your state of mind right now. So, uh, not much else to say about it except just, you know, because I'm just talking from my perspective. One guy sitting in his fucking garage rambling about being positive, you know. You don't know me. I don't know you. But just know that I am you and you are me. And if we start living that way, Nothing's stopping us. <laughs> I'm gonna go enjoy the sunshine.